Hi, my name is Greg Hollier. I'm Director of Sales and Marketing at GEM Systems Advanced Magnetometers in Toronto, Canada. Today we're going to be talking to you about our Overhauser Magnetometer. Our Overhauser Magnetometer is our mid-range magnetometer suitable for many applications in the earth sciences including mineral exploration, oil and gas exploration, archaeology, some of the applications as well as UXO detection and characterization for military purposes. Uh, the Overhauser magnetometer is a special magnetometer in that it uses a free radical mixture of liquid which allows us to energize the system with very low power consumption meaning that your batteries will last a long time in the field. It also boasts high sensitivity, good absolute accuracy, and high gradient tolerance. In the rest of this video, we'll be looking at how to configure the magnetometer, how to take it out of its box, and how to generally set up for a survey. Inside the shipping case, we have the components for the system. Firstly, we see the cabling that goes from the sensor to the console. Then we see the sensor up at the top left. Next we see a battery charger for charging the console. In the pocket below we see several other cables, one for a battery connection, one for a USB connection. Below those cables there's a converter for USB to serial so that you can acquire your data to computer. Next we see the console. The console handles all of the recording functions for the system. Next we see the GPS antenna. The last components in the box are the strap. As well we have a manual and a software disk that comes with the system. And lastly, we have the extender poles that allow the system to be adjusted to particular heights or you can use the system in a stationary mode as a base station. Okay, now we're ready to configure the system for survey operation. Currently we're looking at the GPS screen. We've initialized the GPS which needs to be done every time you move to a new survey area. This can take 10 to 15 minutes to do which we've already done so it's not necessary to repeat this step. Now we're going to move on to other configuration steps using the survey menu. We first select A survey to get into our survey menu. Once we're in our survey menu, we select the type of instrument that we have. In this case, we're using a walking system, which is a nearly continuous system. So we initialize that. Then we move on to the cycling time. The magnetometer can cycle up to 60 minutes. And here we're going to set it to cycle at a lower frequency. The next step, as we discussed, was to press F and uh, start the survey. The magnetometer will now go through a sequence where it tunes itself much like a radio frequency or radio station, it tunes itself into the right frequency and then can take the measurement. Uh, so that takes a couple of seconds. And then our final function is to press C, walk, which will start the survey and away we go, and measuring readings and obtaining high quality results. By now you've seen pretty much everything there is to see about the Overhauser magnetometer. We've seen some of the theory, some of the applications for uh, mineral exploration, oil and gas exploration, archaeology, and also in military applications for detecting unexploded ordnance and buried ordnance that is harmful. And as well, we've seen how to unpack the magnetometer and how to start using it. And always remember about GEM, our world is magnetic.